life is just so much sweeter when you share. You guys, I have the perfect microwavable red velvet mug cakes, and the best part is, it's for two. So I'm all about baking amazing desserts for my friends and family, but let's be real. That is what I do all day long, and sometimes I don't want to whip out the KitchenAid to satisfy my sweet tooth, so thank God for microwave mug cakes. In fact, I have mugs just like this reserved just for this recipe. Now my friends will tell you I don't like to share. I can order an entire dessert all to myself, but the new boyfriend is really trying to break me of this habit, so I came up with a trick. You double the recipe, put it in a jumbo mug, and then there's plenty for me to have and maybe a little for him. And what's more romantic than red velvet? It has that sexy chocolate flavor, luxurious cream cheese, a little sprinkle of sugar. It's the kind of cake that could get anybody in the mood. And you make it in a matter of minutes in the microwave. We're putting everything in my jumbo microwavable mug. So we're gonna start with our milk, six tablespoons. And what I love about this recipe, just get all the ingredients out, grab your measuring spoons, and that's it. Then we're gonna add our vinegar. Now a great red velvet recipe uses either buttermilk or vinegar. It's what gives it that nice, fluffy, moist texture. Then we're gonna add a half a cup of flour, a quarter cup granulated sugar. Don't forget, we're sharing this one so that all that sugar's not going in my belly, maybe. Two teaspoons of cocoa powder. After all, red velvet is all about that nice chocolate flavor. We're gonna do a half a teaspoon of baking powder, three tablespoons of vegetable oil, a little pinch of salt, then we're gonna add our red food coloring, about 10 drops. You wanna whisk everything together until the batter is nice and smooth. Oh, look at that red velvet. Love it! Then I'm gonna stir in four tablespoons of mini chocolate chips. Now we're doing mini because we don't want all the chocolate chips to go to the bottom and if you use those big jumbo chocolate chips, that might happen. We want chocolate chips in every single bite. And it's okay if your tablespoons are a little heaping. I'm not gonna tell. Stir that in. Oh, it's so chocolatey. Now you can't have red velvet cake without cream cheese. So we're just gonna put a heaping tablespoon of cream cheese and tuck it down in there. And then as the cake cooks, it's just gonna melt out. So good. Now we're just gonna pop this into the microwave for about five minutes. But don't forget, everyone's microwave's different, so just keep an eye on it. You wanna cook the cake until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Five minutes can feel like forever. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! What I love about this dessert, you can literally enjoy it right out of the microwave. But I have a couple finishing touches. Hit it with a little bit of powdered sugar. Oh, look how pretty that is. And then I found these cute little heart sprinkles. Just sprinkle them right on top. Maybe a little more. You can never have enough sprinkles. All right, I'm taking a bite and I'm getting right at the center. Oh my gosh, score. I got the cream cheese and little mini chocolate chips. This is so good. Don't tell anyone, but I'm actually not gonna share this. This is all mine. I'll make Mr. Amazing one of his own another time. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food. And I would love to know what favorite mug cake recipe you like to make in the comment box below. And don't forget to like us, love us, tweet us, find us on Instagram, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.